Right. Well, this is cool, isn't it? I feel like I'm in the Big Brother diary room. Like that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do, do, do it. I think the girls are just getting excited now. I think it's getting very close to our first game, the tournament starting. It's just, yeah, an incredible feeling. I think the Euros in England, there's not many people, you know, can kind of say that you'll be a part of something like that. And yeah, it's going to be an exciting summer ahead. When we got on the coach and we started driving towards Old Trafford, you just seen loads and loads of people just walking the streets, just making their way to the stadium. And I think that's when we kind of realised how big it was going to be. Especially walking down a tunnel, you know, ahead of kickoff, 60 plus thousand people cheering. Usually we say, don't play to the occasion, like, keep your head in the game, like, concentrate on the task in hand. But it was really hard for me not to have a look around and just think, wow, how far is, is the game come? I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, like it. Whoa, whoa, here we go. Toonie and Lissy Rousseau. Toonie's a an absolute donut. She has me in hysterics every day about one thing or the other. I think we balance each other out quite nicely. She's just my best friend. She has been like ever since I, I met her at about 13, 14. To have a special summer um, coming up is, is going to be really exciting. Monday night's game was just crazy, I think. It was so surreal. Obviously nobody expected the result, we didn't. Eight superb goals, uh, a great team performance. We were all just kind of like, whoa, what's happening here? You know, like everything we touched sort of went in the back of the net. I said the ball was like gold dust in the first half. I was in like utter shock and kind of disbelief, I think. Um, obviously to score eight goals against anybody is a great achievement, but to do it against Norway at the Euros is, was special, so it was a really good night. You could see on my face, not just for when I scored, but when everyone else scored, I was just going crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't think you can ever replicate playing for England, being on the pitch when someone scores or, you know, being in that moment when you do score. The atmosphere has been nothing short of unreal. I knew that there would be very high numbers, but I didn't expect maybe how electric it was going to be. The tournament has created a real buzz around the country and I think you see many places where people are watching women's football. I read that cinemas are showing games for free and people are watching it at Box Park and going crazy when we score. It's amazing to see so many young girls and boys and see so many different people coming to support and I think that atmosphere sort of helps us throughout the whole of the 90 minutes. I remember being that little girl out there in the stands as well so it's an amazing experience for them but we was once in their shoes so have big dreams really proud of the, the nation for, for stepping up and you know being recognised worldwide for our, our crowds at a major tournament and having the best turnouts. We had a couple of days to settle down, a chill day of volleyball and a couple of games just to take our minds away from football. I did some crazy stuff on the Swiss ball which was weird but fun at the same time. I kind of made a show of myself. We want to work really hard but we want to enjoy it along the way. I've just been trying to eat like, it sounds really boring, but it's just plain pasta with a bit of olive oil, uh, a lot of salt and pepper, um, but it's just easy to digest on a game day. It's, I think there was on a, a documentary, it was like Riyadh pasta at Man City. So I'm trying to get it named Lucy Pasta, but it's not really working. <laughs> I think Kira's trying to claim it as hers as well. Have you seen like Riyadh pasta? Well, I've got Kira pasta. <laughs> I think we sometimes forget, obviously, where the game's been and where it's come from. And like coming in here, you go, ah, yeah, or oh yeah, I recognise, or actually I remember that game. So yeah, I think, I think it's good that we, um, you know, remember where we've come from and where we're going. When, when you go a goal down, it's it's obviously difficult, especially against a, a team that possessed the ball so well, but sat on the bench with the girls, I don't think there was ever a moment where we thought, you know, we're down and out here. Um, that sense of belief we've got in the team is obviously quite special. I think as soon as, you know, we got that goal and we got back into it, I, I turned, I think I said to Ellie Roebuck that we're going to win the game now because you could just see the energy levels increase, the momentum swayed to us. There was so much emotion in that in that game, blood, sweat and tears kind of, that afterwards it was just like ecstasy. It was like this m amazing feeling. And uh, yeah, we definitely enjoyed it. And it was fun to see my mum in the crowd dancing to Sweet Caroline. That will be forever burned in my memory. Playing for England has always meant doing it with my mates, doing it with the people that I've played football with from day one. Pretty special to still be around those same players. Uh, Ella Toon, Alessia Russo, Georgia Stanway, Ellie Robach, Lauren Hemp. So to be with these players, um, it means the world and I think our England journeys are just beginning. We're going to Wembley. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a fairy tale fixture, England versus Germany. 
Euro final, Wembley Stadium, the history behind that is incredible. The fact that we get to go out there with 90,000 fans and not feel any pressure, um, but know that we're all in it together is very, very special and I think that's what I'm most excited about. It has been a very special journey. Of course, you hope for some things and you all have a dream. Uh, we're, still, uh, we're still in this dream. Looking back on the tournament, I couldn't be more proud to be in this England team, to be English um, and to stand alongside the girls. And I know that everybody feels the same way. Hopefully what we've done for not just ourselves, but the rest of the country and the rest of those little girls following in our footsteps, you can't beat that. I don't know. That is diary room all done and dusted. Peace out! <laughs>